Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today, we're trying Banquet's new Dynamite Penny and Meatballs 14 ounce Mega Meal, which has meatballs made with chicken, pork, and beef, and a spicy creamy tomato sauce layered over penny pasta topped with mozzarella cheese. And this meal only costs $2.18. If the old saying, you get what you pay for is true, I'm not really expecting a whole lot. Meals Made Mega Banquet meals have been proudly made in the U.S. since 1953. Now here's the list of ingredients, and again, I like how they break down the individual ingredients so we know exactly what's in each item. The sauce is simple enough, the penny pasta looks good, but then we get to the Animal Kingdom meatballs that are made with chicken, pork, and beef. Pretty soon, all the meats they put in the four meat slurry concoctions are going to sound like the list of animals from Noah's Ark. But then, of course, we have the mandatory TVP, which is pretty much a staple of 95% of frozen processed or canned foods. Unfortunately, I think I'm building a tolerance to the TVP because it doesn't seem to bother me as much as it used to. My taste buds and overall taste for food is very weird and constantly changing. A few years ago, I hated spam. Now, I love it, and I'm making my own spam. And then we have the ingredients in the mozzarella cheese, which is real mozzarella cheese. The 14 ounce Dynamite Penny and Meatballs Mega Bowl has 590 calories, 30 grams of total fat, 11 grams of saturated fat, a half a gram of trans fat, 90 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,300 milligrams of sodium, 52 grams of carbohydrates, 8 grams of fiber, 7 grams of sugars, and 27 grams of protein. Normally, I'd say 1,300 milligrams of sodium is a lot, but compared to the meals we've had lately, with some meals coming close and other meals exceeding 2,000 milligrams, and that's pretty sad. You can heat these Mega Bowls up in the microwave or the oven. And since I love you, the people, so much, I splurged and spent $4.36 so we can cook them both ways. We're doing the first one in the oven. And it didn't say to vent or remove the plastic film. So it goes straight into a preheated 375 degree oven for 45 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees. The second meal is going into the microwave for four and a half minutes. And this time it specifically says to not remove the cover. After four and a half minutes, it's time to open it up and give it a stir. Two things I noticed immediately is this looks like a lot of food and there's a hell of a lot of meatballs. So once everything was mixed well it went back into the microwave for another one and a half to two and a half minutes or until it reaches 165 degrees. After heating for another one and a half minutes, for a total of six minutes, our Banquet Dynamite Penny and Meatballs Mega Bowl is ready to enjoy. Like I've already mentioned, this is a whole lot of food for two dollars. And cooking for six minutes per the directions was probably one minute too much, because as you can see, the meatballs are up to 200 degrees. So we gave it a good mix to get everything nice and coated with the sauce, And we actually counted 15 good sized meatballs. So we stabbed the meatball to try first, and it simply looked like a frozen meatball. Just like the ones you get out of a bag. You know, the ones you throw in a crock pot with grape jelly and chili sauce, and you take to your potluck. I bit the ball in half because it was too hot to shove the whole ball in my mouth. Now that's the tasty ball. That's good meatball. That's a good meatball. <laughs> but it's tasty because of the spicy cream tomato sauce. It's really good. 
The meatball tasted and had the texture of exactly what it looked like, a frozen meatball. Not a ton of flavor and a little bit spongy texture, but considering the type of meal we're enjoying, they're moist and average tasting balls. Next we shaked a fork full of penny pasta, which is actually my favorite pasta. It looked good and I wasn't disappointing with the flavor. Thanks again to the delicious sauce. For my taste, I wish the penny would have been a little bit more tender, but with that said, the pasta was perfectly al dente. I just prefer softer pasta. Next, it was a mouthful of balls and all. And out of the 15 meatballs, I got the one that looks like it's been stepped on. But I shoved it into my pie hole anyway. And I found myself enjoying this meal maybe a little bit more than I should have. But it's a good meal. Now our second Mega Bowl is ready after heating it in the 375 degree oven for 45 minutes. Mrs. Wolf Pit did her thing and checked the temperature of the balls and they were all over 200 degrees. Then we gave it a good mix and counted the meatballs, and this time it was only 10 balls. So we either got too many in the first meal or got ripped off and didn't get enough in the second meal. So there's either an issue with consistency during the manufacturing process or they have a hungry line worker. So after we gave it a good mix, we tried a meatball first. And I have to say, the flavor was good, like in the first meal. But in the one cooked in the oven, the meatball had a better texture. The same thing with the pasta. It was slightly softer and better. Taking the final bite of meatballs, penny pasta, and spicy creamy tomato sauce, I really found myself digging this meal. So here's my final thoughts on Banquet's Dynamite Penny and Meatballs Mega Bowl. There were slight difference in the heating method, but either way they were tasty, and they were a good amount of food. But there was one ingredient in the bowl that you didn't hear me mention in the whole video, and that's because I didn't even notice it, and that was the mozzarella cheese. It was a mood ingredient, and I didn't even know it was there. Even though one bowl had 15 balls and the other one had 10, I still consider them both a good deal for $2. So with all that said, I'm going to give Banquet's Dynamite Penny and Meatballs Mega Bowl an 8 out of 10. And this is one meal that I would definitely get again. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and share it with your family and friends. And I'll see you soon.